Hello everybody, Sparkman here, and uh, today I would like to do a simple demonstration and uh, sort of a tutorial on how to do a, uh, a front door redstone uh, circuit for opening and closing steel doors. Alright, so first of all we got the pretty basic thing here. We've got our pressure plates. We step on the pressure plates. They open and close the doors. Um, there's nothing really unique or special about that. Uh, anyone that's seen any tutorials on double doors uh, should not be too impressed. Um, so we go. Let's uh, let's say we go ahead and go outside, and we have a switch here. And then the switch is, of course, for opening the doors. Now the switch is a little bit different. Now the switch, as you, if you've uh, worked with the door uh, switches at all. Normally, a switch is, is uh, similar to a pressure plate. It's on for a little bit, and it turns off. Um, however, the doors, in this case, stay open. That's part of the circuit. All right, so when we go walk inside, stepping on the pressure plates resets it so that the doors close again. The doors will close behind you. All right, so um, the other part of this is right here, this little switch. So let's say we're inside and we see a creeper out there just standing right side outside the door now obviously you don't want to do this because he's going to come right over and explode in our face and that would be bad so what we want to do is we want to uh, prevent the door from opening so we'll hit the switch hit the switch and now the door is locked it will not open by stepping on these pressure plates and we can come over here and we can smack that creeper all we want. All right. So let's say let's say we're out exploring, we left the house a different direction, we left this uh switch locked. And so we'll just go out through my lookout tower. Ooh, we got some bad lag there. Must be from fraps. All right. So we'll just uh we came down through our lookout tower. We'll go down over here. And, uh-oh, I locked the door. Oh, no, what am I going to do? I'm going to get pushed by a chicken. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, all right. We hit the switch, and, hey, still works. Awesome. We walk inside. Pressure plates still reset the door, as expected. However, door will not reopen. There you go. So, how does it work? Well, uh, I'll show you where the circuitry is. It's back, back behind here. Uh, this is the wire for the button and then the pressure plates here you can see the wire coming down for the switch and then uh, those two redstone torches are right under where the doors at all right now I'm going to show you and explain it here because this is kind of a jumbled mess and it's a little hard to understand if you want to recreate this circuit yourself uh, it's not a very good one to, to show you so we're gonna go out here do have to turn the switch on. I've got a mock-up of the circuit right here. So, but it does the same thing. We've got a pressure plate here, and uh, I have to hit the switch. Pressure plate here. Opens and closes the door, as expected. Button here opens the door, leaves it open until we hit the pressure plate. All right, so what do we have here? We'll start right here. This is our uh, output from the pressure plate. It comes over here, and this is an AND switch right here, or an AND gate. Two redstone torches on the top, redstone in the middle, redstone here at the output. This is the basically the output here, and it's also the input to the doors. Uh, the doors have their own circuit, which uh, anyone who's looked at a tutorial for double doors should be familiar, fairly familiar with that. You have to have one redstone torch on, one off, so you have to have uh, an inverter in here, which is this right here. The inverter goes to the other side, and basically makes sure both of the doors are either open or closed. All right, so th what's uh, the other part of that circuit is right here. This is an RS latch circuit. Um, so what happens is, when you hit this button, it changes the state of the RS latch circuit to an on state. And it stays on until it's reset 
by the pressure plate on this input right here. All right. So you've got two different inputs to open the door, depending on uh, whether the the output of the AND gate or the output of the RS latch. Uh, and this pressure plate has two functions to reset the RS latch and also to power the AND gate. And then of course we have the switch there which disables the output of the AND gate so that the pressure switch does not activate the doors but it does still activate the reset on the RS latch. So we can open it up and close it again. All right. Well, I hope that helps you. And uh, thanks for watching. And I'll, I'll see you guys next time.